Hello, Gail. Hey, Dave. Oh, wow, what a background. Yeah, no, I kind of try to keep Hawaii in my mind, so I put that on once in a while, and that's, uh, yeah, I'd like to be there. I've, uh, I've, I've gone over there seven times a year, a couple of years ago, six times. Um, I have some camps that, that were obviously postponed with COVID. Well, that's so. what I want to talk to you about, actually. So my article yeah. is about, we found the big four today. So my first question, let's just jump into it very quickly. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> Um, I'm happy. Yeah, I, I just checked my email. I actually had sent you an email on Saturday and confirmed yeah. three o'clock your time. Mm. So here we are. Here we are. Perfect. Yeah, so perfect. my first question to you is, I know the answers myself, but I just need you to express them your own way. My first question would be, what are you doing these days? Did you make enough money back then from prize money, from sponsoring to just live the good life or do you have, do you have a full-time job and what is it? And, and what's your answer since you, you know? Well, my answer is you, 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 you didn't uh, because triathlon was not as popular as it is now and that you have a, you're a coach if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, partly, yeah. You, yeah, you got some of it right. Um, yeah, it's been a difficult year. It's been a difficult year professionally, financially, and obviously emotionally for myself, everyone else. You're talking 2020, right? I'm talking 2020, yeah, because, um, you know, it's a cutthroat business uh, being a, a ex-old athlete, so it doesn't matter if you're a current superstar or, you know, my genre. But yeah, working, working with companies, yeah, you never can do enough. So uh, I, I'm a I'm a workaholic. I'm a work dog, and I've been I've been over backwards over the years. And I'm not patting myself on the back. It's just the the term deliverables with a company, whether it's written, it's video, it's it's being at events or whatever, is it, is never really satisfying for that company. And I'm it's kind of a general statement. I, I have a very good relationship with several that have stayed on, and uh, Four Seasons is one that we just. Yeah. alluded to uh it's difficult to deliver uh what they want if it's not really well defined to a t and mm -hmm. i think the ambiguity of working with athletes or in my case uh, ex-athletes uh is difficult so kind of getting back to your question no yeah. i i did not have the financial backbone that a lot of the athletes have today Jan Ferdano and daniela reef and so on they have very lucrative contracts yeah. you know to name name a few not many have that no they don't it's still a pretty lean sport i, I think the pto and uh, you know iron man's obviously going to have to step up their game and i'm i'm involved with iron man uh we've had weekly calls from okay. march and then uh, uh by month monthly calls, you know, just trying to weave through the 130 races that were canceled. And yeah. as you know, there's been yeah. races that have been put on, but you know, we're all strangled now by COVID again with this big uptick worldwide. So, so, so are you consulting for Ironman? Is that, is yeah, that I, I have a, an existing contract with them. Uh, I have one with Ironman U, which is their teaching coaching yeah. platform. And then I also have one with Ironman, but the Ironman, you know, they're obviously the same entity under the mm -hmm. same umbrella. So I kind of meeting with both trying to, you know, reformulate, you know, the plan for Ironman and be involved with them and the platform for coaches. And so on. that's been ongoing, but okay. I, I'm about 75% um, less income this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not an essential business. So I've, you know, it's, it's sort of a, um, a cross section of things I just brought up with sponsors um, yeah, yeah. that have left and opportunities at events. But, you know, I'm, I'm duly optimistic. I, uh, yeah. I have a, I have a membership platform that I've really been working on for really the entire COVID. I'm redoing the, my entire website and my logo and everything and the relaunch of that. And, um, if I have any skill, <laughs> my only, <laughs> my limited skill set is, you know, I, I, li I like to teach. I, I have a kind of a voracious appetite for um, knowledge and, and uh, exercise and training and physiology and, and nutrition and biomechanics and yeah. mobility, stretch, strength. I mean, I love talking about it. I'm all, I've, you know, people always say, well, how do you like doing that? Well, I'm still passionate about it. I'm yeah. Not. Is it something you studied in college? Yeah, I studied it, but, uh, you know, my background, yeah, my, my background is in exercise physiology from college. That was a long time ago, but I'll say the learning curve when you're 18 to 22, and now I'm, you know, I'll be 67 in January. 
an old guy. Uh, since that time, you know, I, you know, what you garner and glean over a lifetime, as you know, it is much greater than what you have in college. You know, I think you're into drinking yeah, yeah. beer. And, I would, but I, I follow. I mean, I, just, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I, you know, I, I'm not a soil scientist. You know, my background is is in in the umbrella of exercise, exercise science, and that's what I, yeah, I really like. I like to sort of unravel and. Um, you know, wiggle people's training, look at it and dissect it and, and you know, work with them and, and just say, you know, I think if we do this differently or, if, you know, I just sent a video off to a client who was at Four Seasons and he said, Dave, I, I've forgotten those uh, mobility exercises for my rotator cuff. And I said, you got to maintain your thoracic spine. He's having hip flexion issues his um, his TFL is real tight and his quads real tight. And I said, well, that quite often, People address that, but I said it really can come from your back. And I know it's by his back is bad. He's he's like this on his computer. He's internally rotated. And I said, well, we all that? like that on our computers. I'm like, yeah, that. exactly. You spend my day right. Exactly. Yeah. But so the people yeah. you're coaching, are they, what level do they have? Are they Ironman finishers? Are they dreaming about having an Ironman? Or I finished 17 Ironman myself. I've never been fast, but. Could I be coached by you? Uh, yes. I you. I mean, I, yeah, with my, with my Dave Scott Tri Club, I, I, you know, I don't, marketing has not been my forte. I, I think I have a lot of good seeds in it. So th there's a 12-week program. There's different levels. Okay. And, and, I, I, and I, I embed a lot of videos. I have probably, I don't know, 100 videos on there, instructional stuff. And I have a, a webinar that I'm doing tomorrow with oh. my DSTC group. And it's, you know, people come online and then I answer questions as well. We cover, <clears throat> we cover, you know, the, it, the topic, obviously. Yeah. So, um, yeah, your question. Yes, of course. I, I have all levels the, okay. with the DSTC group. Most of them, uh, 90 plus percent are triathletes. Most of them have done um, Olympic distance and some are, are gravitating to 70.3 and Ironman distance. By no means am I catering just to you know, the hard bodies and the superstars in the sport, yeah, you know, regardless yeah. of age. This is where I'm kind of revamping the DSTC. You know, I, I, I'll give you a kind of a rude and crude example. If I talk about uh, why people should eat healthy fats and I say, you know, you should really be eating macadamia nuts and pecans and almonds and walnuts and, and sure. not have that packaged food. And someone hears that, they hear my newsletter, it's Instagram or it's a video. I don't want them necessarily to say, oh, you need to join DSTC. And they'll say, well, no, I'm not a triathlete, but I'm really interested in your nutritional component. Right. And if I sell a bag of macadamia nuts and walnuts and I sell them for $15 and people say, well, that's what I want. So <laughs> I'm kind of, I have, I've done all the work on this. I've segmented all my DSTC things. So your question, when I coach or teach people, yes, I have the platform. I don't want to lose my triathletes that I have, but the health and endurance yeah, it's and even the strength umbrella is much broader. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need to do like Paul Newman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and his his spaghetti sauce wasn't that healthy, but I could come up. You know, we're, yeah, we're looking at we're looking at food products and and supplements. No kidding, that would be a yeah, great yeah. idea, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>